Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today I'll be excited to tell you about Facebook stock or Meta. Um, that's their new company name. However, everyone knows it as Facebook. Over the past five years, Facebook stock has gone from 170, you can see, back in uh, 2017, October 2017, up to a very high of $380. That was last year, September 2021. Has gone from 380 down to 130 thus making the past five years a net negative for facebook investors if you've held the in past five years you are in the red uh you are not making any money you are in fact losing money so after all this and at one point facebook hit a trillion dollar market cap uh is it worth investing in and that's the question of the decade is facebook now worth investing in after it's dropped over 60 percent 66% you can see it's actually a third of what it once was uh, just a year ago that is a question we're asking so in order to you know make this a value point you have to look at the earnings right that's a very valuable resource that I've found to help first we're gonna look at before COVID right two dollars and twelve cents okay two dollars and fifty six cents 171 I'm looking at this reported number here 171 180, 271, 388, 330, 361, 322, 367, 272, 246. So it's, it's been dropping a little bit. And estimated is 189.5. Uh, and that is, of course, next week. So earnings have fallen from 189. I'm sorry, they've fallen from 330 at the height of 388 down to one. And 80 so they've fallen two dollars a share um and another thing to look at is like price comparison versus eps comparison right so we can look back at 130 dollars back when it was 130 bucks november 2016 a dollar nine cents right now it's a dollar and 89 cents so is it a better deal now than it was before yes i'd say so uh i mean usually everyone would say so in fact what is now concerning is how much money they are putting into development. But before I get into that, let's look at Snapchat. Um, Snapchat is really not a very good stock. However, uh, all these social media companies and advertising companies, they use it as a guide, right? So they released earnings today. Uh, earnings did not go very well. You could see uh, went from $10 back down to 7 and overall, face Snapchat. Oh, what just happened? All right, Snapchat has gone from 21. I remember the IPO 21 uh, down to five, up to 80, and down to seven. Right where we're at right now. Um, they lost money this quarter. Uh, they made, they lost less than expected, but still had a negative earnings. And that reaction to this earnings report put Facebook down today. You could see exactly, um, you know, no news was out besides that Snapchat earnings. And, of course, other social media companies were hurt. Pinterest uh, and, of course, Twitter, if it wasn't for that deal with Elon Musk, I'm sure it's hurt a little bit. Yep, 52 down to 50. So it fell 4% or so. Uh, but anyways, guys, what is very concerning about all of this with Facebook is the money they're putting towards VR research or their... Um, you know, their new headline for the company, Meta Platforms, Metaverse, is, you know, long for Meta. So, and Metaverse is that world you're in when you're in VR. That's the Metaverse. It's a world that's not real. It's just digital. So, let's look at some, I would say, some valuable metrics that put this, you know, they're spending a lot of cash um, into actual data. And that is none other than cash on hand. You can see this is um, macrotrends.net. We're looking at assets and liabilities, and you can click on cash on hand. You see over the last three years, right, they started uh, this whole meta movement back in September of 2021. Uh, and this is that quarter, 58 billion they had. Now they're, we went down to 47 billion, 43, now 40. If they've spent 18 billion, let's just say, uh, I wish Macro Trends had a research and development thing, but that'd be very useful. But 
you know, they spent 18 billion on research and development over the past four quarters, which is more than they've ever spent, of course, because they've never had this much cash. They've had 64 billion at one point. Now they have 40. They spent 24 billion on research, not to mention those share buybacks, which I talked about. Uh, I believe in a separate video. If not, I made an Instagram post about it uh, where their average is essentially $303 for their stock. Their own stock, their average is right around this price because they bought so much up here and they're just not really buying down here, right? They're scared because they don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I, I'm scared too. I don't know what's going to happen. Fortunately, I don't own shares at the moment, but as they go cheaper, it's more and more intriguing. So I'm just, I'm wondering what you guys think. What are you thinking about Facebook? It's definitely that highlight stock that everyone's talking about, everyone's looking at right now. And it's scary out there, right? A stock could go from 380 and it's down to 130 and it was a trillion dollar company. And now it's, you know, 300, 400 billion. Um, down 60% is not a small deal for a company of this size. So I, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. It's just very interesting to me. Nearly everyone who's bought within the past five years, except for you know this very moment right here, is in the negative. And every single person that bought within the last five years is losing money on Facebook if they're still holding the stock. And that can be said for many other stocks, but Facebook is the biggest one. So uh, I, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. It's very interesting. It's one of the main talking points uh, in the social media financial sector industry whatever you want to call it in that group um, but i think your opinion matters so let me know what you say about facebook meta whatever in the comments below this video thank you for watching and until monday